In tonight's Fact Finders report, it's a high-tech way to keep an eye on low-risk criminals, a machine that looks just like an ATM and makes probation obligations as easy as a visit to the bank. So we wanted to find out, is it reducing crime, and if so, by how much? What does this anonymous New Yorker have in common with 30,000 other people just like her? They've all been eligible to use this new machine, which looks like an ATM, but it's not. It's a 21st century probation officer, an electronic probation officer designed to deal with carefully screened low-risk offenders on probation who officials have determined don't need rigorous supervision. Thank you. Okay, everything's in order. Have a nice day. This is called the uh, Automated Reporting and Management System, also known as a kiosk. Before we had the kiosks, probation officers had caseloads of upwards of 200 individuals. Uh, there was no possible way they could keep up with the paperwork. What the kiosk is better at than a probation officer is record keeping. Using biometrics, in this case a probationer's hand geometry, plus a secret code, the machine is able to identify the person in front of it, rapidly ask him or her a series of questions about where they live and work, about any contact with law enforcement, then send them on their way. They check in once a month, and as this no-nonsense sign informs probationers, they are subject to random drug tests. Is reporting to probation with a machine, a computer, is that soft on crime? No, I think it's smart on crime. Correction and Probation Commissioner Martin Horn told Fact Finders the machine is smart on crime because the kiosk frees up probation officers to focus on only the most serious cases. And by freeing them up, to focus on the more high-risk possible reoffenders, It makes New York safer? Absolutely. We supervise serious violent offenders in New York City more closely than probably any jurisdiction in the country. And this kiosk system has played... This kiosk system is, is inextricably linked to that. We couldn't do it without the kiosk system. The kiosk system allows us to take the individual uh, who is a minor offender, who has committed a minor offense, for whom this is the first brush of, with the law, uh, and, and frees the probation officer up to deal with the serious violent offender. Fordham University professor James Wilson conducted an independent analysis of the kiosk and likes what he saw, crediting the system with a decrease of up to 6% in rearrest rates. Is this technology in search of a problem, or is this a problem that needed to be solved by this technology? Um, I see it as a problem that needed to be solved, and this technology was one of several options. I tend to think of it as a fairly cost-effective way of supervising individuals who are a little threat to the community. I don't want the public to think that individuals simply come in and deal with machines and that there is not a human element. In fact, there is a very, very uh, uh, robust, uh, very, very professional uh, very, very dedicated and conscientious uh, human workforce uh, for whom this is an adjunct, it is not a substitute. Some criminals are never eligible to use the kiosk, like sex offenders and others considered high risk. And while working well here, the system isn't working everywhere. When they tried it in Dallas, they ran into some problems with high risk offenders somehow winding up using the